Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about something new we have built, which is a template gallery and this is how you can reach it. So you can either type in noplan.co slash templates or just go into the website and now we have here under product a drop down where you can also access the template gallery and this is it. So in this template gallery we have added more templates than which are shipped by default with noplan, um, but also the ones which are shipped you can find here and we have split it up into different categories like work and personal and for example the daily planners for work so we have already four of those here which are also shipped with no plan but here you can review them how they look like actually in the end um, because every template ships here with a screenshot which you can click to expand just to see how it looks like uh, when you use it and your yeah, templates help you so you don't have to start with a blank page every day they give you a little bit of guidance and of course they save you typing work if you have the same structure every day which is useful for example in this one uh, you start with your today's goals uh, just to remind yourself what are your goals and so you can ha have better basically uh, priorities and focus for the day and then your tasks and a little bit of journaling like one win for the day one point of tension one point of gratitude so this is just one example there are many more and so you open the template here and you can get a little bit of description below it and you can then, then click on copy markdown and uh, if you want to click on open no plan app then it will um, bring up either start no plan if it's not started or bring it up for you and it's already copied to your clipboard so let me switch to no plan so here I have no plan and then you can either paste it directly here into your uh, daily note or what's even better of course is if you create a template and then paste it there. So we have a template or templates um, item here in the sidebar. You right click this and then you have new template and you basically um, paste it here. So I, there was already a title prepared but I just deleted the title uh, empty title and then pasted it here and you can name it here at the top daily planner planning or something and this is not so important the type and ex explain this later it's also documented and now the template is ready so we can now jump to a specific day and then paste the, the template or insert the template for example into the daily note so there are a couple of ways you can insert templates uh, just giving you a quick crash course how templates work so uh, f there's a button insert template in every empty node so you can click on this and you see I have a lot of templates already <laughs> the one which we use this daily planning and then uh, you can start your day by just typing out things your goals and so on so this is one way another one is you can click on the plus button and then insert template and then select it here you can search also in this if you have a lot of templates so this way or if you don't like clicking around you can also just type uh, slash insert template and then daily planning and here it is and one more is using the command bar so command j daily planning uh, this opens the template if you just search for it but you actually have to type an insert template and then you can select insert template and then daily planning so there are a lot of ways to insert a template the easiest ones are of course clicking on this button here and if there is already some text already some text might be you have rescheduled tasks or you have pre-planned already something for this day you can still insert templates so now you don't have the insert template button anymore but you can click of course the plus button and all the other methods I just showed you and insert it so it will just insert the template below your existing text so you don't need to worry about having an empty node for uh, to use templates so let's get go back for a moment to the gallery and i show you some more templates so this is how you can use it you click on this it gets copied to your clipboard and you can just create the template inside no plan and then use it modify it and so on so this is a pretty um, simple one let's have a look at the meeting notes for example, we have here a couple of meeting notes template like client onboarding. So you can um, document the attendees, client information, weekly team meeting notes, 
So we, you can go over like the last week and plan the new week's goals. Also capture the attendees again. So these are all about meetings. So there would be a bit similar. Some about marketing, like product launch, marketing plan, engineering, for example, release notes, the change log basically which we also send as a newsletter on a regular basis. And then there are some personal templates, um, for example, weekly planners, where you can set your personal goals, so health and wellness. Templates are useful for various things. If you take the, well, both personal and work, uh, they can be like a daily reminder. That's why these, uh, like this meditation and mindfulness log uh, is for example useful you can remind yourself to do meditation to do a body scan mindful breathing and so on so it's uh, like a habit tracker slash reminder to actually do those habits and you can capture any kind of information once you have done this so uh, templates are useful templates and daily notes are very useful for this also uh, we have seen this in the daily planner it's very useful to remind yourself of your goals you can, so I'm editing the template itself here in this moment. So you can, uh, instead of typing out your goal every day from the template, if you insert a template and type it out, you don't need to do this actually. It might be also useful uh, just to add your goals directly uh, to your template. Well, maybe not the daily goals. They change probably on a daily basis, but current goals or something. Uh, let's put it at the top. And then you add your goals, uh, which you can reuse on a daily basis. Grow no plan or grow the business to make it more general. Um, improve jujitsu skills. So this might be my two goals. So I get just reminded about them. Of course, I know my goals, but how often do you get into your daily routine? You get distracted by things and then you you forget your goals in the moment for a couple of days maybe even so it's useful if you get reminded about them so you always think about them and uh, prioritize your tasks and your daily habits and everything uh, according to your goals so this is how you can use the template as well as having a different daily template with prepared time blocks for every day if you are very organized or you are not yet very organized and you want to be, uh, you can, for example, also create like um, for every day a different schedule where you can pre-plan like every day, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so on. So you don't need a template which you use every day, but you can have a different template for the different weekday. Or you can have a weekday template and a, a weekend template, for example, just to have more variation in it because not every day is always the same. Um, so this is like you can pre-plan and you don't need to think about your day. You just have it already pre-planned before, like pre-cooking your meals kind of. But basically, it's both together. So habit, kind of habit tracking and planning. And uh, you can do the same with monthly notes. So for example, um, you have repeating tasks for every month. Pay rent, review your goals, plan the next goals for next month. And um, also the reminders of what are your goals, which I just also mentioned in the daily note so this is how you can use templates and our new template gallery hopefully gives you some good ideas of how you can use them some content you can copy and change and we are planning also to add more user created templates user generated templates which are shared in the discord community at the moment okay and one more thing if you want to go even deeper so these are pretty simple templates so far you can do a little bit of coding uh, you don't need to be able to code a lot in JavaScript, but there are some examples you can use. For example, one, the affirmation one, which you can also find here inside the gallery. This one, prompts and events, has some example. With, I can open this. You can see it has a prompt, so it asks you something, which you then fill. Here are um, the blocks or the code blocks listed. Uh, so the two different prompts and it also can print your uh, events from your calendar into the node and also here with the affirmations so here we use a lot of different web services for example you can fetch the weather you can fetch an affirmation from the internet you can fetch an advice a quote you can just copy and paste this uh, into your notes also you can print the title of the note for example uh, or the date 
So we click here plus, insert, of, oh no, this is, yeah, this one. So it loads it from the internet, and then you have it here, advice, affirmation, quote, just some random quotes, the weather, the journal, uh, like the date. So let's go back here. So you find the examples here, a little bit of uh, description, how, what it is, how to use it. And then if you want to learn more about templates, so this is the easy or the simple way how to use templates, copy, paste, and then insert. And we have on our help page, which you can find through the help center. And then you just type templates or template. And here is the page. And here you see also a video from Stacy explaining how they work uh, and a couple of screenshots and text to show you also explaining what are the types of templates. This is not super important, but if you want to have a little bit more order and not a huge list of templates available to you, you can also use those types or the tags, which I called code blocks. For example, uh, the ones from the affirmations template are explained here, the weather, the advice and so on. Here's some example um, template as well with the output. The prompts are explained here and how it looks like. And a bunch of follow-up uh, use cases like habit tracking, travel checklist, readwise integration, Jira, Todoist. So it ca can get really complicated if you want to go deeper. How to add web services to your templates and so on. But if you just want to start out and use the templates in a simple way, you can basically copy and paste them from the gallery and modify them and just use them and uh, you'll be good. So if you want to know more about um, how to code in the templates, we also have a plugins page, which is about plugins and templates, so noplan.co slash plugins. And you can find here uh, at the bottom templating. So here we have the different plugins which are described and then also a section templating. And here uh, we explain also how the front meta works, uh, the prompts, how you can use those, the web services, how to use JavaScript in the templates, the different modules like the node module where you can get the file name, how you can get the time and how you can format the time. These are like different ways to format it. And so on. So this is if you want to go really deep with this. Also, on the, as I said, on the help pages, you can find here a lot of content uh, linked at the bottom of the templating in the templating article. And yeah, I hope you like this new template gallery. Um, it makes it easier to use NoPlan. It helps you on a daily basis, I hope. And thanks for watching.